Space Fam Toy Reviews. Hi! Hi. Welcome to Base Fan Toy Reviews. Today we are looking at the PJ Masks 2-in-1 Mobile HQ Playset! Woo! Da, 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 da. So this thing is three feet tall. It is humongous. Uh, it has five levels. One, two, two three, four. four. There's one in there. And, and then, inside. Yeah, inside. Which we'll get to. In a minute. This thing's awesome. It's huge. Um, it's got obviously the gecko level, cat boy, and then the outlet. It opens up for each level. So this is the cat boy and cat car it comes with. And on each level you've got the gecko level that you can just drive into. You've got the cat car level which does adjust. You can drive into and then of course the outlet level for outlet to fly in and out of <laughs> <laughs> like we pointed out there's this really cool drop down ramp so that's really handy um then it can adjust as well to different heights which is pretty cool um it's got this elevator ramp not really ramp, elevator Oh, we forgot that part. There you go, and it opens up on both sides. So, and then, yeah, so this takes it up to each level. Hmm. So we're gonna turn this bad boy around. So you can see it from this angle. So this opens up and it's like the little HQ area. Um, and this is where you've got the lights and sounds feature which does as most of their toys come out. Um, so that's nice, it also does fit in here. It does a different, the different sound. It sounds, voices, all that good stuff. This opens up as well. You put people up here. Um, that'll open up. So pretty cool. I mean, it does a lot. Like, so let's look at what else it does. Um, as you may, you may not be aware, it transforms. So this whole thing transforms from the mobile HQ into the Seeker. I know there's a separate Seeker toy out there. Our son really wants it, um, but we don't have that. But we have this, which is like way bigger anyway. This is a lock button. Right now it's locked open. So you unlock it and push it together to close. And there it is, safely locked. Shut. Ta da! There we go. So here is the seeker. And then again, like it doesn't like pop open in the back or anything, but you can still get plenty of vehicles in and out and do all these cool things. Um, can you show them the front, Craig? This is the front. Uh, once it's pretty much in the seeker form, it does not really come open other than the top hatch with with the, the satellite dish radar. Um, you know, a, the wheels do actually move, so you can actually roll it on the ground and everything. I know it doesn't. So our table's uneven. So. <laughs> But it um, does roll, actually rolls really well. Yes. I'm pretty sure our son's actually sat on it and ridden it around before. So yes. I wouldn't recommend that, but it has happened and it was fine. And it will actually hold all three of the PJ Mask mm -hmm. vehicles. Yeah, if you can see. Uh, Sorry, our lighting's not very good, but you can see, you know, there's space for all of them in there. And then this, so one of the things about this is like this opens, uh, it's really hard to see. We're trying to shine extra light on it. Um, but you can actually put things and characters inside here. So when it's in the seeker form, they can be in there. However, it's not the HQ inside. It's actually a little top compartment. So it's kind of misleading. Like you can't open up the actual HQ part when it's in the seeker form. So you have to put it back up to actually get into that little command center area. One of the awesome things about 
going from the PJ Seeker into the Mobile HQ is that you've got kind of a little handle area right up here on the top and you can grab that, unlock it, and fold it up. And if you have the vehicles in there, they'll stay. That's very cool. I think it's awesome. And then of course, you know, you gotta put out the the sides. It's no no H no PJ Mask HQ once you got the sides out. And then now you can open this up. That is the PJ Masks 2-in-1 Mobile HQ. In our house, we really call it the Seeker, but we've also learned that there's an actual Seeker toy out there, so we know we're wrong in calling it that, but it does turn into both a Mobile HQ and the Seeker, and it's pretty awesome. Again, it's got some limited things as far as certain features work at certain times, but the way it opens up and keeps the vehicles in is pretty cool, and the things that do open up and provide a lot of um, kind of mobility and, and ways to change up the scenery is pretty cool as well. So overall, we like it. It's humongous. The hardest part was actually putting the stickers on. Stickers are always the hardest and they always stress Craig out the most. Well, that's because they're odd shaped stickers, of course. Thanks for watching. Uh, we really appreciate the support. So give us a like if you like this video at all and subscribe if you want to see more parent reviews and fun times with toys. Bye.